Hello everyone, my name is Wais El Mahang. I'm a fourth year pharmacy student at the beautiful University of Damascus. Now, ranks the first nationally and with 2,575 international publications and 1,098 registered authors. The University of Damascus is the oldest and largest university in the entirety of Syria, located here at the capital to which she takes the name from. It was founded in 1923 through the merge of the Institute of Law and the School of Medicine, founded in 1913 and 1993 respectively. Now, the University of Damascus and all public universities here in Syria are the only universities in the entirety of the Arabic-speaking world that teach medicinal sciences in Arabic. It is also one of the only two universities in the entirety of Syria that give master degrees and the only one that gives PhD degrees in the entirety of Syria. Now, the faculties here in the University of Damascus, we have a plethora of them and a plethora of higher institutes, intermediate institutes and a school of nursing. One of these institutes specializes in teaching Arabic to non-Arabic speakers, which is the largest in its kind in the entire Arabic-speaking world. Now, here at the Faculty of Pharmacy, we have all kinds of studies and fields, from the beautiful fields and studies of analytical, clinical and industrial studies, to the wonderful fields of pharmacognosy, macrobiology, macro and biochemical studies and drug synthesis, and of course pharmacology. We have it all. The emblem of Damascus University reflects the importance of science and the never-ending journey for humans to seek knowledge. But it also reflects the importance and the privacy of Damascus as a city for its further development of science and scientists. Now, the purplish colour in Damascus's emblem also represents a very special fruit, the Damascene raspberry or to Shami. It's a very special fruit that is found only here in Damascus, representing the uniqueness of not just the city, but the university. Hello, my name is Zara from the Arab International University, which is located in Dara in the south of Syria. AIU was established in 2005. Our university ranks first among private universities and sixth rank among Syrian universities, according to the results of Webometrics in July 2021. It is distinguished for its pioneering education and research in different fields of study. The AIU has done 150 amazing research and graduated about 6,059 students. In addition, it also has clubs for sports, music and photography. Another amazing thing you may not know is that the written phrase on the logo of AIU is in the yogurt alphabet. Yogurt is the cradle of the oldest written alphabet in human history. This phrase is a message to the Syrians from Gadbal since 5000 BC, which is, Bake your sword, take your pick, and follow me. Let's plant peace in the liver of the earth. You are Syrian, and Syria is the center of earth. everyone, my name is Naji Khanji from Al-Andalus University for Medical Sciences. Al-Andalus, named after the medieval kingdom that ruled the Iberian Peninsula, currently northern Spain, Portugal and France between the years of 756 to 1031 AD, a beacon of knowledge as well as a conduit for cultural and scientific exchange between the Islamic and Christian worlds. Inspired by history, our university was founded with the aim of establishing channels to transfer advanced knowledge in the areas of medicine, health and education to Syria. Uh, the university is located 850 meters above sea level in the heart of the coastal mountain range in Syria, near a town called al qadnus famous for its great natural beauty, fresh air, and only 30 kilometers away from the stunning sandy beaches of the Syrian coast, where we can stop at the Sayun Castle, also known as the Castle of Saladin. 
uh, it sheltered three civilizations behind its portcullis, the Byzantines, the Crusaders, and the Ayyubids throughout its history. Surrounded by four provinces, Homs, Hama, Tartus, Latakia, our university embraces the cultural diversity of the Syrian and Middle Eastern societies with a significant percentage of international students from many Middle Eastern countries. A noteworthy institution in our university is the AU Research Bank, which is an institution dedicated to form scientific research teams composed of members from Al Andalus University, members from partner universities, and the distinguished members of the Syrian and Arabic states, working on many research projects such as plantable bio artificial kidney, stem cells, immunological drug therapy, and many others. We are pleased to attract talented researchers to share with us their knowledge and their valuable conclusions that they may reach when cooperating with us. Please do not hesitate to contact us and join our research teams. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Noor Anastav. I am a pharmacist from Arashid International Private University for Science and Technology. Unlikely, due to my infection with COVID-19, I can't go to my university and shoot this video because for sure we don't want anyone to get infected. So I'm gonna give you some information about my university from my comfort room. Arashid University established in 2007 and located in Ghadagab district Dara Governorate. It was built on a land area of 257,000 square meters with the highest local and international standard for its infrastructure, which include equipped classroom, scientific laboratory, state-of-the-art educational facilities, uh, offices of faculty member and administrative uh, bodies, library, public service, lecture halls, and play field. In 2013, it started with two branches, Faculty of Pharmacy and Business Administration, and then developed to contain more disciplines such as Faculty of Dentistry, Technology and Informatics Engineering, Architecture, Faculty of Law, and the last branch was Physiotherapy, which is the first discipline in our city. Arab Republic. In 2014, Arashid University signed a cooperation agreement with Damascus University in the aim of promoting and developing a joint cooperation in the field of research, training, development, knowledge dissemination, exchange, scientific publication, and document. And now I will show you some pictures about my university. I hope you like it and thank you. and I'm going to talk about my university, the International University for Science and Technology, well known as IUST. IUST is a private university located in the Rabagab city near Daraa in Syria. It was founded in 2005 as one of various modern private universities here. So, our university president is Professor Faisal Al Abbas with specialization of electrical engineering and our university is composed of 10 faculties that meet the needs and demands for the Arab communities. Now I'm gonna talk about the events and activities here. We have sport tournaments, uh, scientific tours, and health science Olympics. The many uh, research were published by our faculty members, and our motto is a life of commitment to knowledge and excellence is all what we seek here in IOST. Hello everyone, I'm Noura Laisa, a pharmacy student at Al Jazeera Private University from Al Hasaka, Syria. And about that, let me tell you a fun fact about Al Hasaka. Al Hasaka is characterized by its beautiful nature, owns agricultural lands and some ancient historical sites, and is the main supplier of oil in Syria. As for my university, Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera is a private Syrian educational institution that provides all educational services. It's Permanent headquarters in Deir ez -Zor, its temporary headquarters in Damascus Dara International Highway. The university includes several faculties pharmacy, informatics engineering, civil engineering, architecture, and business management. The greatest achievement that our university uh, has made is supporting students with a high grade through financial aid training courses, scholarships outside Syria. Holding uh, scientific days uh, in cooperation with local companies in order to integrate students into the labor market. Periodic publication of scientific research and academic studies carried out by the professors through a methodological plan that approved by the university presidency. 
And finally, Al Jazeera Private University is trying to keep pace with all scientific discoveries and revolutions in the world, thus reinforcing every effort uh, that seeks to support it with major universities. And that's all. Hello, my name is Hibat Khatib. I'm a pharmacist graduated from Arab International University. Talisman Hotel is one of the ancient Damascene houses dating back for more than 300 years. And in the entrance, we can see many photos for many celebrities who visited this place, like Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Queen of Spain, Sofia, and others. Syrian cuisine has considered one of the most ancient and authentic kitchens in the Arab world. So for, for breakfast, we have small plates like labne, labne mdabale, olive, cheese, strawberry jam, apricot jam, mcdoos and others. And with all these plates, we, uh, they served with tea. And uh, here in Syria, many regions like Der Zor, they have pora for breakfast as a special plate and mamuniya in al -Bur. Syria has various traditional industries, like we have wood industry that is characterized by the existence of shells, and on the other hand we have the fiber industries, uh, like the brocade as a famous fiber. And did you know that the fiber used uh, for the Queen Elizabeth's wedding dress from the brocade as a gift from the Syrian government to the Queen? Hello, my name is Lena Abu Rashid and I'm from Damascus University. So we are starting our cultural uh, tour with agriculture. So Syria is known for uh, growing olive trees and pistachios in Aleppo. Also Syria is known for exporting uh, so many vegetables and uh, fruits such as lemon and orange from Latakia, also cotton from Homs. we are going to talk about Syrian lunch starting with kusa uh, uh, which means uh, zucchini stuffed with uh, fried zucchini stuffed with bean and uh, cooked with yogurt uh, moving to Aleppo with their famous dish called lahna uh, karaziye from its name it means meat with uh, cherry sauce now to Dara'a uh, with their famous mlehi uh, and there's many other dishes like Abu Basli which is made from uh, pumpkin and uh, burghol and meat and also yabra. Mayyad Mosque is one of the most important landmarks for Muslims. Also, it was built on the site of Christian Basilica dedicated to John the Baptist. Uh, also, this great uh, Muslim site is one of the largest and oldest mosques in the world. The Cathedral of Our Lady Al Nayah, also known as the Church of Olive or Canista Zaytun, is the seat of the Malikite Roman Catholic Church in the world. So, why we call the church the Church of Olive? Due to the large number of olive trees uh, found in the courtyard of this church. Hello everyone, I'm Batur Jaddoua and I'm gonna take you on a little trip in some places in the old Damascus starting with the Hanania Church which is located uh, underground uh, and it's one uh, of the oldest uh, churches in the world uh, dating back to the Roman era. And for Syrian dessert uh, in Damascus, we have Mabrume and Baraze. Mabrume consists of uh, pistachio and natural honey. Baraze is like cookies uh, coated with sesame seeds and honey. Now to Aleppo and their Hotelier. Uh, it's a corn dessert. Uh, moving to uh, Ansuela uh, and their Lazafiyat, uh, which is similar to uh, 
countries. Uh, in the end, Latakia uh, and uh, Jezeriyeh can be seen now we're here in Damascus Opera House. We're going to talk about uh, music in Syria. Uh, Syria has the first mutation uh, in musical piece uh, in Operate. Uh, and there are so many uh, iconic musicians uh, from Syria such as uh, Sabah Al-Fakhri, Zuad Husni, uh, Najat Sagira, uh, Layla Murad uh, from Aleppo, uh, Asmahan and Farid Al-Atrash from al -Suweda. Moving to the one of the most beautiful places in Damascus, uh, which is called uh, Al Adam Palace, it's located uh, north of Al Zuriya Souk, and it was built in the 18th century by uh, Asad Basha Al Adam, who also owns uh, Khan Asad Basha. Uh, and all these impressive uh, palace houses uh, are the museum of arts and uh, popular traditions. Here of the desert, on Palmera, as we know it, the famous well-preserved Greco-Roman ruins, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1980, renowned for its unique blend of Greek, Roman, Persian and Islamic cultures.